Hi, my name is Susan Strauss. I work under the name Lilium Artisans, and I'm a primarily ceramic artist, uh, specializing in functional art. Um, cups, bowls, plates. Uh, I love the idea of having a piece of art that somebody can pull off their shelf and use every day. Um, whether you're putting flowers in it and pencils or your favorite cup of coffee, um, it makes me happy to be able to put those into people's hands. So I love adding texture to pieces. Uh, it helps the glaze um, interact with the clay body in different ways um, once it's fired. There are many different ways to shape the clay. Um, using a press mold like this is one way to do it. Um, beyond the traditional throwing um, on a wheel. And it allows you to explore lots of different um, techniques, lots of different shapes and forms. Um, I'm new to the Grafton area and excited to be part of the Cedarburg Artist Guild. Hi, I'm Candy Gibson, and I'd like to welcome you to Garden View Pottery. This is called Scrofito, and you take the black on gobe and put it onto the mug, and then you scratch away. Scrofito is an Italian word which means to scratch away. Um, this is an example here, and all I'm simply doing is scratching away the black on gobe in order to expose the white clay. So it's like drawing in clay, but it's the opposite of drawing because you're taking away what you don't want to be black. Hi, 
Hi, my name is Susan Strauss. I work under the name Lilium Artisans, and I'm a primarily ceramic artist, uh, specializing in functional art. Um, cups, bowls, plates. Uh, I love the idea of having a piece of art that somebody can pull off their shelf and use every day. Um, whether you're putting flowers in it and pencils or your favorite cup of coffee, um, it makes me happy to be able to put those into people's hands. So I love adding texture to pieces. Uh, it helps the glaze um, interact with the clay body in different ways um, once it's fired. There are many different ways to shape the clay. Um, using a press mold like this is one way to do it. Um, beyond the traditional throwing um, on a wheel. And it allows you to explore lots of different um, techniques, lots of different shapes and forms. Um, I'm new to the Grafton area and excited to be part of the Cedarburg Artist Guild. Hello, my name is Carla Bile. I'm a mixed media assemblage and collage artist. I make whimsical characters uh, and portraits out of found, found objects. Welcome to my studio, Simply Dollface, my place to play. When I work, I surround myself with all of some of my wonderful treasures. I find them at flea markets and antique malls. And I have a multitude of supplies here in my studio. So what I'm working on right now is a guy called Henry. But I started with this door-shaped little treasure that I found and a little black frame and a, an old paintbrush for his hair and his nose and a little wedge of wood for his mouth. So we're going to make Henry come to life today. Okay. I'm adding these quirky little beads for his eyes. I'm going to put on his legs. I'm going to use a little bit of hot glue and then I will add a more sturdy glue as I finish. Now I've got these old forks that I picked up. Now his name is going to be Henry. So I have these old blocks, these uh, children's toy blocks, vintage. He's also, he loves to fish, so I'm going to attach this fish. But that is going to be Henry. I also do uh, collage, uh, little characters, colorful characters. I do a little painting and uh, uh, mixed media paperwork and I'm and hoping that all of you that see my artwork will smile and get get a laugh or a giggle and make you happy that's my goal thank you very much